Good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5, I think. It's hard keeping track. What's today? Today's the 3rd, so yeah. Vlogmas Day 5. This morning I was actually up at like 5, like 40 or something I woke up at because, I don't know, I think there's some drunken stoops outside. Um, being extremely loud. So, it's 7 a.m. now. I have a decent amount of work to do today just with like editing and stuff like that because the weekends can get busy and random plans can pop up out of nowhere. So, to prevent any stressing throughout the day, I'm going to get an early start on the work day. Today is Saturday, December 3rd, by the way. Oh, it's my friend's birthday today, actually. For skincare, I'm going to do my morning skincare routine. I'm just using like a gentle cleanser. This is just one by Bioma. I'm just going to start off by spraying some of this Naturopathica Lavender and Honey like facial mist. Facial mist. My tried and true for the winter, the... First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is a product that I always circle back to, especially during this time of year. And then I just gouache off. That's what I've been doing for my morning skincare routine. And then I'll add in some sunscreen. But I've been keeping it super, super simple lately. And then for sunscreen, I use the Image. Oh my God, that's a lot. Image Daily Matte Moisturizer in SPF 30. So it turns out that we are definitely going to dinner tonight. I'm glad that I found that out this early on because now I can like plan my entire day around being prepped for that. So because I have the extra time, it's currently 7.40, I'm curling my hair so that I could just touch it up for tonight. The curling iron that I'm using, I've been loving recently because it gives you like a nice, or it gives me who is like a straight hair, like thin hair, straight hair gal. It gives me like really nice, big, wavy curls. Um, and they actually like stay and look really nice. So I personally love it because it works really well with my hair type. I think it's like a one and I don't even know. It's like one and a half inches or something like that. I'll have it linked. It's from T3. I just opened up my box that I got in the mail yesterday. I showed it in yesterday's vlog from Abercrombie. So I'll do a little haul of the few things that I got when I get home. I do have more stuff coming, but it'll probably come later. I think some of it may come today though. So if it comes today, then I'll show you then. But right now I'm going to head out the door. When I said the other day that I was going to my favorite coffee shop, I didn't end up going to my favorite coffee shop, but today I'm going to my favorite coffee shop. It's usually like a Saturday, Sunday ritual that I usually do. Their coffee is really freaking good, and um, I really love working there. Like, I just love the atmosphere. So, we're going to head there. time is it? Like 11 something probably. I was there for quite a few hours but I just banged out a lot of work for the morning that I need to get done and then I also edited vlogmas day four so I'll be able to schedule all of that when I get home so that I won't have oh So that's all set for tomorrow because we do have an early dinner. So I might go home and actually do a workout. And then once I work out and do all that, I've got to 
get ready for the day. So, yeah. I really love this coffee shop though. Love it so, so much. <coughs> I just, <coughs> oh my God. I just got home and I immediately changed. I am freezing cold, um, but it's really nice out. So I am going to actually just go on a run. My biker shorts that I'm wearing are from Abercrombie. They're the Your Personal Best. I love that activewear line. It is so good. And then my top, why can't I get this earring in? I'm like shaking. My top is part of a, an Amazon workout set that I also love a lot. So I'll have both of these items linked if I can. The shorts might not come in this color anymore, but I'll link. I think I know they have black at least. So I'm going to go on a run, and then when I get back, I'll do the Abercrombie haul for you guys. So, and then we'll have to start getting ready. Despite me being all sweaty, I am going to show you guys what I got from Abercrombie. It's just a few things. All right. I got this freaking amazing coat. Yeah, I know. I live in Florida, but I wanted this coat because I have my coats for so long, like especially my Abercrombie coats, I have them for years because they're just classic coats. Um, and I love this one. It's actually like not super, super heavy. So on like a colder day, maybe in like February or something, whenever the hell it gets cold here, um, I can definitely wear this or I mainly got it for the fact that when I go home for Christmas, this might be one, or this might be my go-to jacket that I wear while I'm home because you can dress it up or dress it down. Okay, anyway, I don't know where the other hook is for this, but basically it has like a little tie and then it's this black and brown maybe? Well, sorry, it's brown for sure, but it might be all brown, or brown and black, I don't know. I'm gonna go with brown and black um, so that I can wear black with it. So it ties, or you could just like kind of let it go. And I love it. I got this in a size small actually, cause I thought a medium might be too over. It cut out, but yeah, I, I figured the medium might be too big and oversized, like it would look kind of weird, but I like how this fits. I think there's definitely enough room under here for like a lightweight sweater we have this really fuzzy cardigan it's like a button-up and I really like stuff like this on me I think it's very flattering like with the neckline I think I might have gotten this like an extra extra small no, just an extra small because like with their sweaters, like a sweater like this, I don't want it to be loose. I want it to be like tight fitting, but this might be a little, eh. actually this might be perfect. Yeah, this is really cute, but this is like super, super fuzzy. So um, can't wear this on a warm, warm day. And then, oh, I got this, but they actually sent me two of these. So I will definitely just be giving this to a friend or somebody or selling it on my resale page. Um, this is just a classic sweater. And, um, I got this in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Would definitely bra tuck this, but it's such a classic piece. It's super lightweight, but definitely can be layered. Like these are the pieces that you need in your closet. And like, as I continue to order stuff and work with brands, I try and be a lot more conscious of like the types of clothing that I'm getting from them because I want them to be pieces that I can have for years to come or staple pieces. Even if like I don't keep everything, I do sell or give to friends and family a lot of my clothing that I do not wear. But I want it to be pieces that like 
a lot of people could wear, like no matter what kind of style you have because they're so basic. Um, I'm actually so sad that I didn't get this in a size medium. I looked at the reviews and the reviews kind of like made me think that I should get like my true size small. I should have gotten a size medium because I want it to be oversized and this kind of like just fits perfectly. But yeah, that's all that I got. Just the other thing is that sweater that I got sent twice. And I'll have everything linked below. When this post goes live, when is it going live? I don't know if there will be a sale going on when this post goes live, but um, if there isn't, stay tuned because there's always sales on Abercrombie, especially during the holiday season. So stay tuned and just wait for a sale because I guarantee you there will be another one. We are looking a little tan, maybe a little tad bit burnt, I don't know, but I'm so happy. I love this bikini too. The bottoms though, I tried them on like the first time and I had a massive camel toe and I'm like, oh God, like you know with some bathing suit bottoms, especially like light colored bathing suit bottoms, it's just risky business. So I had the bright idea that if I'm not going in the pool, I'm just like laying by the pool, wear a G-string so that there's an extra layer of fabric there. You don't see it on the bottoms and no camel toe and it worked like magic. <laughs> just a little tip, a little FYI if you needed, uh, if you needed that. All right, y'all, it's time to get ready for dinner. I'm gonna show you the products that I use to do like my everyday, well, not everyday, but like my go-to makeup look. The Say Beauty Super Glowy Gel. Definitely the first thing that I put on. Then we can seal, oh my God, there's flies in here too. We can seal with the Kosas Creamy Concealer and use the Merit Beauty Stick for like any acne, which I did just have like a few little spots up here, which will probably go down later. Hmm. For foundation, I'm not really sure which one I want to use. I'm probably this shade, but I want to use Best Skin Ever by Sephora but I'm probably closer to this shade right now, which is the Dior Forever Skin Glow um, foundation. This is like my ultimate favorite foundation ever, but if you're looking for like a cheaper option, the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever is also a really, really good foundation. This is just extremely good with long wearing, but doesn't feel super heavy. It's very lightweight, doesn't really feel like you're wearing makeup, and it has like a flawless, beautiful dewy finish which is like what i want in a foundation still have no idea what i'm going to wear tonight though it's gonna definitely get cooler out and it's probably gonna be cool in the actual restaurant it's actually so we're going to cooper's hawk never been never even heard of it but it's like a winery and what winery and restaurant I actually stopped, I don't think I like talked about this really anywhere, but I actually stopped like drinking, um, not like 100% that I'll never have a drink again or that I won't have like a drink from time to time, but, oh, I just wanted to make sure, I thought I wasn't recording, but for the most part, like I've stopped drinking just for health purposes and yeah, this probably isn't a forever thing, but it definitely is. For the next several months, I've been like sober-ish since um, probably like the beginning of October or end of October. I think like the beginning of October is when I remember having like my first mocktail, but I can't remember when I had like my last alcoholic beverage or not like last alcoholic beverage but like last alcoholic beverage before i stopped drinking like as much and i barely drank like much at all to begin with me just casually killing flies 
I barely drank much to begin with, but why do they flock to mirrors? I barely drank much to begin with, but so this isn't, so it's not like the hardest thing in the world for me and I don't really do much of anything that like revolves around drinking which I'm really thankful for because otherwise I'm sure it would be a lot more difficult. This just looks like your skin but better and I love it. I'm using the Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cupcake which oh my god this product is absolutely amazing. It is transformative in terms of changing your makeup completely and like actually setting the look and making it look amazing and then go in with a damp beauty blender and i know what you're thinking like damp beauty blender in powder but trust me it works wonders and then set under the eyes and like the rest of my face oh shit i forgot i need to add like all of my cream products whoops filming kind of like puts me off track Okay, I'm going to use the Chanel, um, what is this? The cream bronzer. This stuff is absolutely stunning. Um, this is a pricier, uh, product though. So I know Say Beauty has a similar product and I love Say Beauty products. So I'll have all of these items linked below though, if you are interested. And then for blush, I'm thinking I've been loving the Say Beauty blush and I got this in the color, it's like their liquid brush and blush in the color, it's their dew blush. I got it in the color rosy and it's so pretty. Literally you just need the tiniest amount, whoa, as I add a large amount to my face I was never really into blush until like I found cream blushes and they are so so good I will never go back well never say never but likely will never go back because I just have loved them ever since I discovered them I want to do a dramatic highlight so I'm going to use the iconic London illuminator drops in the shade blush I just put like a little droplet on the back of my hand and then tap it on with my finger literally all you need is like the tiniest amount and now we go back to the powder situation I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill uh, Morphe palette. This is what the palette looks like. I love this palette. Um, I'm just gonna do something, well, kind of like my go-to look whenever I do use eyeshadow, which is kind of rare. And I mix these two shades together to do in the crease. For the lid, I'm going to do, I'm going to take Obsessed and do this color basically all over the lid. But mainly focusing it on the inner third of the eye. Cool. And then to kind of like blend it into the like darker shades, I'm going to take Neeks which is like a darker brown sparkle and kind of focus that on the last third of the eyelid the outer third Ooh, the hell am I? Lulu, you're ruining our session here I'm sorry <laughs> I'm kidding, what's up? I love you I love you too now I'm gonna go in with a more fine brush and, or actually no, I'm gonna go in with that first brush and do Central Park, which is like this darker chocolate brown. And focus that on the outer third and blend it up into the uh, crease. Oh my God, throwback to when I actually like used to watch YouTube tutorial, like 
beauty gurus. I mean, I grew up watching that shit, like Elle Fowler, Bill Blair Fowler, um, who the hell else? Like, anybody that was teaching tutorials on how to do your makeup, I was watching. The OGs. For the inner corner, I'm going to take the top two shades in light and beam and kind of mix those two together. And we're going to do that on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that Central Park chocolate brown color and like smudge it along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that same dark brown and smudge it along my upper lash line a little bit on the focusing like more so on the outer third of the eye kind of winging it out like like smudging it out a little bit like a wing what else do we have to do okay we've got to set the cream bronzer so i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills powder bronzer i'm gonna set that also going to set the highlight the liquid highlight we did so i'm going to use the dior backstage glow palette I'm going to mix the peach shade with the like champagne shade time to do the brows we're going to use the anastasia beverly hills brow whiz i should have i don't like wax my eyebrows anymore i actually literally just shaved them um, I use those like facial shavers, like those face shavers to shave my eyebrows. Like literally I've been doing this now for two years probably and I don't know. It's just so much easier and I actually rarely do it because my hair isn't like that bad. Like it doesn't, it's blonde first of all and it doesn't really grow that fast. Um, so I kind of like leave it go for the most part. And to set the eyebrows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills like brow freeze. It's just a, a gel. I'm sure you can get it so much cheaper. And then I have like the, the Anastasia um, like brow brush for it. But I'm sure you can get so much cheaper products. Everything was just at Sephora. So I was like, I'm just going to get it all in one shot here. Okay, I'm happy. Mascara, my favorite mascara is the Say Beauty Mascara 101, Mascara 101. It's so good. I still have no idea what I'm gonna wear. So I'll just, once I'm done doing everything, I'll just come back and show you guys. The iconic nude Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, which is my favorite lip liner ever then we're going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, matte lipstick in cool brown and this just goes really well with the like I look that I did and the lip liner I mean everything matches this lip liner but I'm gonna I'm going to like gently dab this on my lips I'm not gonna like go too hard with it on top I'll use like some sort of on the more sheer side gloss just to make it glossy i don't really love super super matte looks so i'm just going to add a little bit of this uh fenty beauty heat gloss bomb heat in fenty glow it's shade three and that's the finished look I am going to now get started on my hair and then I'll come back to you when I have like the whole finished look. I almost forgot to set everything. I'm going to use the Caudalie, uh, what is it, Beauty Elixir I think that's called. And I actually have never used this to set my makeup before, but I've heard it works wonders for setting your makeup. All right, this is the outfit, the hair, the makeup, the whole nine yards. <laughs> You're coming in to see this. And tonight I decided to wear this. 
but actually tonight I decided to wear this little top from Revolve, which I really love, but my arms can't get any more swole because I'll be popping through the lace. Jeans are Abercrombie and they're the little split hem jeans. I like to wear these like to dress them up too. And also they look really good with heels. And then I'm wearing these cute little heels from Steve Madden. My fake Bottega, which is an Amazon find. The final hair, hair, makeup. I'll have everything linked. Glowing. But yeah, it is a winery, kind of. It's not like a real winery. Like at home, they just have a lot of wine. I don't know if they um well, make it themselves. We just got home from Cooper's Hog. It was very, very good. I ended up having a glass of wine though. Oh, it's making tea. Ended up having a glass of wine because they had Malbec wine there, which is like one of my favorite wines. So I decided to have a glass and I'm glad that I did. However, it made me so, like I can feel it in my face. I'm so puffy and like that's one of the reasons why I just don't want to drink alcohol is just because like how it makes me feel. Um, and I'm always reminded of that, even if I just have like a simple glass of wine. But anywho, we are going to do our advent calendar tea for the night. Hopefully some of this will help with the... Oh. See, I should have most definitely done this one this morning. Because it's the lemon ginger and manuka honey tea, which is one that I usually drink in the morning with lemon. But I'll drink it tonight. We are staying strict with the advent calendar. But that's all for today's vlog. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit longer just because of the makeup tutorial, I suppose, or like makeup look that I did. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. If you haven't checked out all the other Vlogmas videos, be sure to check those out. I'll have the list in the description box. Yeah. Cooper's Hog. Cooper's Hawk. So if you want to watch any of those, they'll be a link down there as well. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for day six, I think. I always, I just can't keep track. I'm pretty sure it's day six. Or, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six of Vlogmas.